There is no proof that tech companies colluded to do this. This is nonsense, oh. and he knows it. Oh. He, oh, no, I'm sorry. There, 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 Scott, was, there, was, a, there was a we'll major on you institutional here on effort. No, there to, was to absolutely. Uh, listen, I have been one of the biggest critics of tech. This is nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. You keep using the horn. I don't think it means what you think it means. Between the Democrat state media's coordinated gaslighting assault on America after the disastrous Kamala Harris Fox interview and now this CNN panel straight up lying about the Hunter Biden laptop story again, I'm legitimately about to have a series of psychotic embolisms. So go get your popcorn or your straight jacket or whatever because you just have to see what happens next. There is no proof that tech companies colluded to do this. This is nonsense oh. and he knows it. Oh, he, oh no, I'm sorry. There, 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 Scott, was, there, was, there was a, there was a major... Frank on you institutional here on effort no there to, was to absolutely uh, listen i have been one of the biggest critics of tech this is nonsense absolutely nonsense and when he just sort of discounts ah the court cases dozens Wasn't and dozens the New York of Post thrown off twitter they were and then they oh. scott let me try again to explain to you what actually happened oh great and they <laughs> made a mistake i actually I know, did. and i and i, and I lived through it say, too they and threw guess what? the new york post and yeah, the story yeah, off twitter scott, let's look scott, carefully literally she's actually done talking about, I mean, she's so done the work really <laughs> hard to a human <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? She's done work on this? There's no work being shown here. She's just lying. I'm talking I mean, about she's so done it's the really work. hard to deal with you. You want to insult me? Go ahead. No, laugh I'm not insulting you. You're, you. I don't know why you keep repeating things that aren't true. Did they, they get thrown off Twitter? They it's did, true. and then they said that we made oh. a mistake, and they put them right back well, on, just like CNN does, just like the New York Times does. Whew. Now I feel better. Oh, well, of course, it was just a mistake. Also, have you ever noticed these mistakes only ever happen in one direction? Anytime there's any of these mistakes, it always benefits Democrats. It wasn't after the election, it was during the time and they switched Jack Dorsey's switch. Mm. So I think what the issue is, is you think Twitter is the government. You think Twitter is running things and there is not this wide collusion. Nonsense, poopy pants. So yeah, these state media freaks are certifiably full of Schneike. And I can easily prove it. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, admitted that he was pressured by the government to censor that story. He's actually admitted it several times, including under sworn testimony. We weren't sort of as black and white about it as, as Twitter. We just kind of thought, hey, look, if, if the FBI, which you know, I still view as a legitimate institution in this country, it's a very professional law enforcement, they come to us and tell us that we need to be on guard about something then I wanna take that seriously. Zuckerberg even openly admitted and regretted working with the Biden administration in 2021 to censor real news. And remember, we had the Twitter hearings where testimony revealed that FBI employees had warned social media companies about supposed hack and leak operations, implying the Hunter Biden laptop story was Russian disinformation when they knew that was a lie. Talking I mean, about she's so done the work. really hard to do. Oh yeah, she's clearly done the work, the work of evil state government disinformation mongers, not to mention that a majority of our media, especially CNN, spent weeks calling the story Russian disinformation and pressuring social media companies to censor it. Obviously, uh, we're not going with the uh, New York Post story uh, right now on Hunter Biden. This is really one of the stupidest October surprises I've ever seen. It helps to really view this as storytelling, not so much as news coverage, but as political entertainment. NPR explained we don't want to waste our time on stories that are not really stories. Who even thought to make that story up? It's a story that many intelligence experts say has all the hallmarks of a foreign interference campaign. It looks like it's tied to Vladimir Putin in Moscow. This is a Russian intelligence disinformation campaign. It's foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Russian intelligence. Rudy Giuliani was not fed passively Russian disinformation. He ordered it off the menu. And this is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. And he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking, he's of course not. he is, no. Leslie. We should note Hunter Biden isn't running for president. That argument has been debunked. There is no evidence that Joe Biden did anything wrong. For all we know, these emails are made up. It just lacks credibility. Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that FBI's... digging and start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. And look, it's not even about how long that story was suppressed. 
It's about the government and media uniting to discredit anything critical of Joe Biden or the Democrats as Russian disinformation, thereby interfering in the election. And it's not like it's even a secret because they bragged about it. This is yet another example of how dangerous our Democrat-controlled government has become. It's becoming increasingly hard to hold the Democrats and the so-called deep state accountable for anything because all of our institutions that are supposed to be checks on power are now just tools and weapons of those people to protect themselves and to use against their political opponents. If Kamala Harris wins this election, they will solidify that power, and I highly doubt they will ever let go of it. All right, folks, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.